Welcome to part one of our two-part quick guide video series for the Fabric Analyzer by Browseware. Here we will cover the process of setting up and using your Fabric Analyzer by Browseware, or FAB. We'll begin by giving you an overview of the FAB's parts, accessories, and their function. Then we will cover the basics of installing the DB admin software and setting up the equipment. If you're ready to test a sample fabric, be sure to check out part two. On the right side panel, you'll see the on-off switch, the power indicator light, and the device connected indicator light. Located on the opposite side, you'll find the USB port and power outlet. The base plate houses the movable arm and the fixed arm, each with their own clamp system and stopper. The clamp system consists of a clamp that operates by sliding up and down, and a tightening knob that operates by winding the handle. There is also a large spacer and small spacer which are used for the short and long segment tests in the testing sequence. DB Admin requires a Windows operating system with at least 4GB of RAM and 256GB of disk space, so you'll want to ensure your computer meets the system requirements before you begin. Also, you'll need to make sure your computer has a USB port to connect to the FAB machine. Begin by downloading and installing the DB Admin software program. To do this, go to the Browseware support website at support.browseware.com. Go to the Download and Install section. Under Product Downloads, locate the newest version of DB Admin and click to download. Once the installer file has downloaded, double click the file to install the program on your computer and follow the on screen installation instructions. Before we begin preparing the fabric and using our fab, it is important to cover a few safety tips. When the fab testing is in progress, be sure to keep your fingers and any loose articles of clothing, jewelry, or hair clear of moving parts. Both clamps may be positioned up or down for calibration. Make sure that all sample fabric for testing is wrinkle-free by ironing fabric materials on the lowest heat setting. For delicate fabrics, place a protective cloth over top during ironing to reduce the risk of being damaged by heat or fraying. Cut and mark your three sample fabric strips, a long or length grain, a cross or width grain, and bias grain. Use the cutting template to achieve accurate dimensions of 5 cm by 30 cm or 2 inches by 12 inches with a rotary cutter and cutting mat. Please note, if you have your own laser cutter, the cutting template will not be needed. Please proceed to laser cut the three sample fabric strips at the sizes and fabric grain orientations mentioned previously. Place all three fabric strips on the scale. Record the total weight, then calculate the average by dividing the total weight by 3. Please record this number as it will be used later in our testing process. Alternately, you can use the mass provided from the fabric mill or vendor if you prefer not to weigh the fabric yourself. Weight must be in grams per meter squared. Please note, ensure your fabric scale is calibrated and set to measure weight in grams at 1-2 to two decimal points for the most accurate results. The fabric scale is not provided by Browseware. You are ready to begin setting up your fab machine. Ensure your fab is positioned on a flat, stable surface so the testing sensors do not pick up extraneous movements from the surrounding environment and potentially corrupt your data. Connect the fab power cable. Run the cable from the fab power outlet to the wall power outlet and turn it on. The red power indicator light shows that the fab is receiving power. Run the USB cable from the fab's USB port to your computer. The green device connected indicator light confirms that the USB is plugged in. Double click the Browseware DB Admin icon to open the program and you're ready to begin your first fabric test. For additional working and safety tips for your fab, check out support.browseware.com. 